The Dogs of War is a 1980 film about mercenaries. It stars Christopher Walken as Jamie Shannon, a man who's hired to visit an African country called Zangaro and eventually overthrow its tyrannical president. The film also stars a very young Tom Berenger, six years before he would join the regular U.S. Army, as Sergeant Barnes. Remember how I said that John Irvin had been a documentary filmmaker during the Vietnam War? Well, apparently he also had to deal with a lot of mercenaries while there, and so he apparently put his knowledge into the portrayals of Shannon and his friends. The film is also based on a book, and the author supposedly pretended he was financing a war so that he could meet up with arms dealers and talk shop for research. The film plays out pretty much exactly how you would expect. Shannon is a tough guy for hire who sneaks his way into Zangaro under a fake name, he meets some of the inhabitants, he comes back, we see hints at his failed marriage, and then the movie spends the last half building up the big moment when Shannon leads a military coup. Fresh off his Oscar from The Deer Hunter, Chris Walken does a decent job in his role, and it's actually not that implausible to see him as a cold-blooded mercenary. Colin Blakely is a journalist who meets Shannon in Africa, but he's mostly just there to give social commentary and serve as a foil for Shannon during his scenes. The ex-wife, played by Jo Beth Williams, is just there to push Walken's character away from her, and the rest of the mercenaries are just bullet fodder. The nature of the mercenary trading, as well as Shannon's entry into the country, put Lord of War into my mind as I watched. But aside from those things, the Dogs of War does not have any of Lord of War's charisma. The story's formula is fine, but it's too by-the-book for my taste. And while the 80s were a more forgiving place for the latent sexism and racism in their films, it's far more obvious watching it nowadays. The Dogs of War was John Irvin's very first foray into the world of feature films, and that would explain why it's so formulaic. And yet it's one of those films that really captures the start of the 80s. At first, it's an intelligent look at how mercenaries work, but then it gives way to an action climax that feels like it was ripped from a bad Schwarzenegger movie. Fans of Christopher Walken won't be disappointed in his performance, and fans of 80s films might find some nostalgic merit, but aside from that, there's not much going for the dogs of war.